ओम सदाशिव समारंभाम शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरु परंपरा श्रुति स्मृति पुराण आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत् शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव पादरायण सूत्र भाष्य वंदे भगवत पुनः ईश्वर गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तिहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम ओं सहना सहन उभुनक्त सह वीरकवाह तेजस्वीनावती तमस्तुमाद्वेशा वह ये ओं शांतशाशाति धातु ब्रह्म संप्रोक्त जीव आख्यात मुच्यते प्रकृति धातु ब्रह्मात्म नम नारायण परो व्यक्ता दंडम व्यक्त संभव अंडस्यांतस्तुका सप्तद्वीपा चेदिनी In the last part, huh, we saw the 14th shloka of the 8th chapter. Ananya cheta, uh, ananya cheta sadhana yo maam smarati nitya shah. Tasya ham sulav partha nitya yukta se yogi na ha. So I am easily attainable, says Bhagavan Krishna to Arjuna, to one who is ever a yogi, who is always, who always recalls me. who always has his mind in me who is committed to me to him i am easily attainable and we have seen earlier that keeping me parmatma in his mind one who chants omkara which is not different from brahma thereby attains me who is not different from brahma who becomes one with brahma that is the idea and we have seen that both ways it can be interpreted as uh, krama mukti for krama mukti as well as for nitya mukti jivan mukti both possibilities do exist sa paramam gatim yati we saw in the 13th shloka now there is a question anticipating a question arjuna or anyone else who is listening to this may have a question if you are easily attainable what is the benefit of attaining you because see attainment of bhagwan is not through any other means of mukti there are various ways of mukti there are various types of moksha so to say which are purana antargata they are talked about in purana but that is not the mukti talked about here salokya mukti samipya mukti sarupya mukti all these are talked about and even sayujya mukti sayujya mukti itself is interpreted in two ways one is as sayujya mukti as union union with ishwara where the attainment has gati involved the union is you are a part of ishwara and the other way of interpretation of sayujya mukti if sayujya mukti is interpreted in the first way then that is not the mukti which is uh, talked about here otherwise it will not be nitya nitya mukti if you are a part of ishwara you will still be an ausha that ausha ushi bhava also is limited you are limited by the by ishwara by every other ausha of ishwara and you also limit the other ushas as well as ishwaras because you are a part of him thereby he even if you merge you remain separate thereby uh, that sayujya mukti of first type is not what is talked about here the second type of sayujya mukti which is advaita mukti where the union is figurative union is figurative the dropping off of upadi itself is union which is cognitive thereby nitya mukti is what is the goal of all life it should be nitya mukti no sorts of limitations no sorts of relations are possible with oneself brahma is oneself thereby if there is attainability there is gati involved then what do i get by attaining you this is a question so tava saulabhyena kim syat ityuchyate तस्य योगिनः 
नित्ययुक्त से योगिना हे पार्थ अहम सुलभा अहम सुलभा भवा भवामी और अस्मी देर बाय सौलभ्य इज शोन हियर सुलभस्य भाव सौलभ्यम सो देर बाय शेन शेन प्रत्यय तव सौलभ्य न किम स्या what will happen if you are easily attainable what do i get out of it otherwise if there is separation any sambandha is possible i attain you still that attainment if it is gati gati rupa attainment there is travel involved and there is merging involved some kind of connection is involved and through that connection there is attainability as a destination it is attainable or there is difference then what do i get this is the question my swartha i have to see what will the final labha be you are attainable but what do i get by attaining you so shruna tat mama saulabhyena yad bhavati what happens by attaining me easily that to not just attaining me with kashta sulabha if you completely commit to me you think about me says parmatma you will attain me and what is that attainment that attainment is that figurative merger finally even through karma mukti finally one has to merge figuratively because one knows that i have never been separate from ishwara i have always been that brahma so there is nitya mukti that is talked about next shrunu tat mama saulabhyena yad bhavati tat shrunu mama saulabhyena yad bhavati tat shrunu you listen to that as to if there is a question what do i get what will i attain really attain when i attain you mamu peti punar janma dukhale ma shashvatam napnu anti mahatmanah sausiddhim parvangataha so mam upetya mam upetya punah punah janma aur punar janma punah जन्म दुखालय अशाश्वत न आपनुवंती महात्मा संसिद्धि परमागता सो मेत्य लबंता हैविंग अटेन्ड मी हैविंग अटेन्ड मी पुनः अगेन जन्म न आपनुवंती सो न आपनुवंती हियर यू कैन सी कर्तरी प्रयोग इन बहुवचन न आपनुवंती सो यू हैव टू हैव प्लूरल प्लूरल कर्ता इन फर्स्ट केस महात्मा न आपनुवंती द महात्मा डू नॉट अटेन व्हाट डू दे नॉट अटेन जन्म सो जन्म इज सेकंड केस न्यूटर जन्म न आपनुवंती they do not attain janma what is janma dukkhasya alayam it is the basis for all dukkha if there is janma the prathama vikara then all the other vikaras dukkha rupa vikaras will also accrue will follow janma then all the jara vyadhi dukkha all these are attained so dukkha alayam janma na apnuvanti <coughs> and what is it what is this janma again if you get the janma where you never die people struggle for that amruta long life long life tending to infinity want to live forever this is the whole idea when i think that i am going to die the body is going to die but through the association with the body i misunderstand that i am going to die so what what is my entire effort to keep the body alive so that the body is healthy and alive and i can continue to live on this is a misunderstanding thereby the extension of life tending to infinity is extension of the sharira to tick prana should tick in the sharira keep ticking forever this is the idea but what is the janma really janma dukhale janma soros are are not nitya sukha is not nitya janma is also not nitya once you are born you have to whatever is born whatever is born will come to an end the sharira is born that sharira is ashashvata therefore janma is ashashvata janma is not forever so the birth 
and the life janma here can also be extended to mean life that life sausarana life meaning that sausarana life sausara life is dukkhalaya and it is not shashvata it will come to an end thereby in earlier case in other cases other cases as to all other goals whichever is there other than paramatma all goals are ashashvata thereby janma is attained and janma itself ashashvata janma dukkhale is attained however maam upetya punaha janma punar janma na apnuvanti and that janma is dukkhale ashashvata who are these mahatmanah maam upetya who are these mahatmanah again they are gatah they are ones who have attained what have they attained they have attained paramangati paramagati strilinga in second case samsiddhi samsiddhim paramam samsiddhim gatah those who have attained the param samsiddhi so paramam samsiddhim gatah mahatman mahatmanah maam upetya punah दुखालेम अशाश्वतम दुखालेम जन्म ना आपनुवंती दैट इज़ द अनुवय अधेर बेसिक सेंटेंस लिए महात मानह पुनह जन्म ना आपनुवंती सो दिस इज़ हाउ यू स्टार्ट बाय मेकिंग द अनुवय बेसिक सेंटेंस महात मानह पुनह जन्म ना आपनुवंती और जन्म ना आपनुवंती पुनः ना आपनुवंती, देर वह पुनः जन्म ना आपनुवंती, दिन कदा ना आपनुवंती, माम उपेत्य, सुमाम उपेत्य, पुनः जन्म ना आपनुवंती, so this becomes the हेतु for that, माम उपेत्य, who are these महात्माना दिन, then you can add the adjectives for that, so परमाम, परमाम, सौसिद्धिम, गताहा Mahatmana. These are. This is the adjective for Mahatma, and then for Janma there is there are two adjectives. Dukkhalem. Dukkhalem Janma and Ashashvatam also. Ashashvatam. Dukkhalem Janma na apnuvanti. Nothing left, I suppose. So that's the Anvaya there. किम पुनः तत्त्व अन्यत प्राप्त हा पुनरावर्तन ते इति उच्चते सो वेदर अदर्स अन्यत अन्यत तत्त्व अन्यत प्राप्त हा दोस हुए अटेंड समथिंग और समवन अदर देन यू तत्त्व अन्यत अदर देन यू डू दे कम बैक सो वेदर दे पुनरावर्तन ते वेदर दे कम बैक न आपनु हियर पुनर्जन्म न आपनु वंति मिस पुनः न आवर्तन थे दे डू नॉट गेट द जन्म आगे मिस दे डू नॉट रिटर्न हियर इन दिस लोका और एनी अदर लोका सो नो द क्वेश्चन इज इफ एनी वन हु हैज अटेंड यू ऑल दिस हु हैव अटेंड यू महात्मा दे डू नॉट कम बैक डू नॉट गेट पुनर्जन्म मिस दे डू नॉट कम बैक इन विच केस does it mean that others who have not attained you, in the sense they have attained something or someone else, some other devatas, do they come back? If that is a the question, then yes, it is true. Abrahma bhuvanal loka punaravartin urjuna mamu petyatu kaunteya punarjanmana vidyate. So, न आपनुवंति पुनः जन्मन आपनुवंति इस क्लारिफाइड हियर अगेन बाय सेइंग पुनः जन्मन विद्यते माम उपेत्य अगेन से माम उपेत्य पुनः जन्मन विद पुनः जन्म न आपनुवंति हियर न विद्यते सेम आइडिया इस एक्सप्रेस अगेन टू रिमूव दैट डाउट एंड टू कंट्रास्ट इट विद दी अदर्स हियर जो ना माम उपेत्यतु हे काउंटे या हे अर्जुना माम उपेत्यतु पुनर्जन्मन विद्यते एंड इट इज इन कंट्रास्ट टू व्हाट आ ब्रह्म भुवनात लोका हा आ आ आ समंता सो आ इज आ इज यूज़ फॉर इट कवर्स फिफ्थ केस अप टू अप टू व्हाट सो देर फिफ्थ केस ब्रह्म भुवनात 
now it is used for uh, in, in two senses, it is an avyaya used in two senses, Gavans Panchami. So these lokas, lokas Brahma Bhuvanath, A Brahma Bhuvanath loka, so A up to and excluding Brahma Bhuvana or up to and including, so A Maryadu or Abhividhu. Here it is in Abhividhi Artha, not in Maryada, Maryada will limit up to but not including Brahma Bhuvana means Brahma Loka, Brahma Bhuvana is Brahmana Bhuvanam Brahma Bhuvanam. The residence of Brahma, meaning Brahma Loka, where Chaturmukha Brahma is there, Brahma here is Pullinga, not neuter, Brahma, Brahma, Brahmanu, Brahmanaha, that is how it will decline, not Brahma Brahmani, Brahmani, this is Chaturmukha Brahma, Hiranyagarbha, otherwise also known as Hiranyagarbha elsewhere, the creator, the creator Brahma who resides in Brahma Loka which is the highest one can attain. So any other Loka whether it is Vishnu Loka, whether it is Vaikuntha or Kailasa all these are parts of Brahma Loka. Swarga is lower to that, Pitra Loka is lower to that. So all these Lokas are lower and then the lowest of the Lokas is our Loka, Prithvi Loka. Beyond this there are Talas which are also called as Lokas but then otherwise also called as Tala, Patala, Tul Patala. Total there are 14 Lokas. So A Brahma Bhuvanath Loka, all the Lokas, all the 14 Lokas up to the Loka of Brahma, Brahma Bhuvanath Loka A, Abhividho, so including up to and including Brahma Loka, all the 14 Lokas are what? Hey Arjuna, they are Punaha Avartinaha. Punaha Avartina, they come back again. Punaha Avartina. Hey Arjuna. They, they are recreated. They are recreated. Mamupetya, we have seen this, so I will just write it. To however, Mamupetya, he kaunteya. Punaha Janmana Vidyate. Here Janma is in first case though Na Vidyate. However, there is no Janma on attaining me. So on one hand all the Lokas are recreated. Now all the Lokas include the Brahma Loka or Swarga Loka even Vaikuntha Loka or Kailasa Loka or any other Ganapati Loka, whatever you want to bring in, all those Lokas are included there because they are all Ashashvata. All Lokas will be merged into the Avyakta in Pralaya at the end of the Kalpa. So in Brahma Loka, those who attain Brahma Loka, they remain as long as the Brahma Loka is there. So that is the longest that one can live as though Nitya. Figure it, I mean, uh, uh, comparatively, relatively nitya, not really nitya, relatively in comparison to all lokas, Brahma loka is nitya, but Brahma loka is also anitya because it will end with the life of Brahma. Whoever is the presiding deity, presiding deity says, who is the very creator for that kalpa, he lives a long life. The Chaturmukha Brahma is also not one person. One person for that kalpa, yes, but the, across kalpas, he will also change. And then the, the Chaturmukha Brahma along with all the residents of Brahma Loka are merged at the end of the kalpa. All the Lokas are resolved including Brahma Loka into the Avyakta Maya and then recreated as per the karma which is ready for fructification in another kalpa. So same jivas are recreated. Jivas are recreated means they are anadi jivas. Jivas in the sense shariras are recreated where the sukshma sharira is already there which is merged. The same sukshma sharira comes out. Uh, all the sukshma shariras get the stula sharira based on their karma. The sukshma sharira is same 
the stool sharira lets that sukshma sharira and indriyas to manifest in keeping with the stool sharira and that stool those stool shariras are given to each and every jiva based on the karma which is ripe for fructification all that punya papa mix which is due based on that a person gets devata sharira or uh, rakshasa sharira or prani sharira or vruksha sharira or manushya sharira and obviously whichever gender so abrahma bhuvanat loka punaha avartinaha he arjuna however maam upetyatu he kaunteya punaha janmana vidyate the uh, this thing is straight forward forward anvaya so abrahma bhuvanat loka bhuvanat लोका पुनः आवर्ति एंड देन हे अर्जुन कैन एड दिस एनी वेर इन दिगिनिंग ऑल्सो हे कौंतेय मेत पुनः जन्म न विद्यते So that's the anvaya there. Brahma loka saitaha loka kasmat punaravartinaha. Why is it that the uh, all the lokas, including Brahma loka, uh, they are recreated? Why are they recreated? The reason is kala parichinna twa because they are delimited by time. They are limited by time. They cannot have. They they are not nitya. They are anitya. they have particular duration of time purana talk about how what is the duration of uh, you know the, uh, the each and every yuga then all chatur yugas put together how many years based on that the kalpa will come to an end and these are discussed further in the next shloka katham how is it that all the lokas are limited by time sahasra yuga paryantam अहर्यद ब्रह्मणो विदु रात्री युग सहस्रांताहोरात्र विदो जना सो टाइम लिमिट फॉर लोकाज आर मेन्शन हियर सहस्र युग पर्यतम अब तो थाउजंड युगा सहस्र युग पर्यतम अह यहाँ विदु रात्रि युग सहस्रांता अहोरात्र विद जना सो विदु इज दि वर्ब हियर विदु दे नो दे नो हू आर दीज सॉरी नॉट वन थ्री हियर थ्री समवेर हियर Uh, so yeah, I thought that I'm used to writing three slash one because we see very less plural. So I was just cross-check whether earlier also I made that mistake. So we do who? Kartari prayoga. They know. They know or they knew. Here we'll take it as they know. Who know? Jana ha. Jana ha. We do who? Who are these? Jana ha. अहोरात्र विद जन दोज हू नो अह अह इज डे एंड रात्र इज नाइट दोज हू नो द कैलक्युलेशन ऑफ डे एंड नाइट हूज डे एंड नाइट ब्रह्मण सो ब्रह्मण ब्रह्मण ऑफ ब्रह्म वॉट इज द डे ऑफ ब्रह्म what is the night of brahma what is the duration of brahma's day and night that they know so these people who know through study of shastras they know what is the day of brahma they know sahasra yuga paryantam totaling to 1000 yugas whatever is the calculation in the we are not interested in details of puranas as to how many years and all that there are details 
I keep on forgetting and since it is not such an interesting topic, what are we going to do with the exact calculation of yugas and how many uh, yugas in, how many years in Kali Yuga, how many yugas in, how many yugas will make up a day. But you see the, uh, you get the idea of the length in comparison, you get the relative nityatvam. What is that relative permanence of Brahma Loka in comparison to all other Lokas? All Lokas have Kshaya. Now calculation wise, uh, forget the exact calculations, but there are four types of uh, Pralayas. Pralayas are four types. One is Dainandira Pralaya or Nitya Pralaya, which is Shushupti Avastha for Jiva. Each Jiva has a Shushupti Avastha, goes to sleep. So that is called a Nitya Pralaya or Dainandira Pralaya. Every day we go to sleep in Shushupti, that is a Pralaya for us. Then there is Naimistika Pralaya or Kalpa Pralaya. At the end of Kalpa, which is at the which will come ahead in the next couple of shlokas, it will be talked about. So I'll just give an introduction to that. At the end of the day of Brahma, so Brahma also has Nitya Pralaya. The way we have Nitya Pralaya, he also has Nitya Pralaya, Chaturmukha Brahma. And at the end of his day is Kalpa Pralaya. So there Purana talks about uh, you know all the lower three lokas are resolved. So there is a dispute as to whether everything is resolved or only some lokas are resolved. So at the end of his day, uh, some lokas are resolved. They they are they, they attain pralaya. So kalpa pralaya or naimittika pralaya. Then there is prakruta pralaya. After hundred odd years of Brahma, his life is around hundred or one twenty years, whatever is the calculation there. At the end of Chaturmukha Brahma's life. Then all the Bhuta Bhautika uh, Srishti is resolved, which is the Upadi of Ishwara. Ishwara's Upadi, the Virat Sharira, the Hiranyagarbha Sharira, all those are resolved into the unmanifest. All the Lokas are resolved. That is Prakruta Pralaya. So there are uh, technical words used, what kind of Pralaya, all that. So. Uh, at the end of the day, end of the night, there are some kind of pralaya for Brahma. We have our own pralaya, Nitya pralaya in Shushupti. Then at the end of his uh, Chaturmukha Brahma's life, there is uh, Prakrita pralaya. And then there is fourth pralaya, which is of utmost importance to us, which is Atyantika pralaya. Atyantika pralaya is where there is no real pralaya the way Vyavharika Pralaya happens, but then it is the negation, cognitive resolution, cognitive Pralaya of the entire Prapancha, including all that is manifest and unmanifest through knowledge. So Jnana and Moksha is that Atyantika Pralaya. Once you understand, then whatever is said to be, have been created, all that resolves in in the avyakta and avyakta also results in atma which is non different from brahma through jnana so that is cognitive that pralaya is important to us which is the end goal of all teaching here the other types of pralayas are talked about sahasra yuva paryantam ahaha yat brahmanaha ahaha viduhu so yat viduhu thereby aha will be in second case yat viduhu Brahmanaha yat ahaha viduhu kete te janaha te ahoratra vidaha janaha so ahoratra sorry okay that's strange I can't do control C that's not good okay copy East. So, Ahoratra Vido Janaha. We can, since Te is there, we can supply Ye. So, Ye, uh, okay, Ye Ahoratra Vidaha Janaha Yat Brahmanaha. 
अहह सहस्र युग पर्यत विदु ते रात्रि सो रात्रि विदु सो रात्रि स्त्रीलिंग देर फोर सहस्र युग युग सहस्रांता हियर इट इज सहस्र युग पर्यत अहह न्यूटर अहह यत अहह यत ब्रह्मण अहह डे ऑफ ब्रह्म सहस्र युग पर्यत विदु दे नो दो नो डे एंड नाइट दे नो दो नो दि कैलकुलेशन ऑफ डे एंड नाइट दे नो ब्रह्म डे टू बी अउजेंड युग सिमिलरली दे ऑलसो नो ते रात्रि ब्रह्मण रात्रि ब्रह्मण रात्रि अभी यू कैन एड मे बी रात्रि अभी सो इन ऑफ सहस्र युग पर्यत युग सहस्रांता हेज बीन यूज युअर युग सेम मीनिंग सहस्रांता विदु रात्रि अभी युग सहस्रांता विदु स्त्रीलिंग देर फोर ता There are various ways to do anvaya, but this is the basic idea there. So you can turn it around, and uh, so here we have added. We can bracket it. Prajapati he ahani yat bhavati ratra ucha tad uchyate. What happens during the day? Ahani saptami ratra also saptami. What happens during the day of prajapati? And what happens during the night of prajapati? He. We know at the end what happens. But during the day, what happens? At the end, all of these, what has been talked about here, Ahurat, they know what is the day. They know that the day of Brahma, the night of Brahma, is a thousand yugas each. Now, what happens during the day? What happens during his night? Taduchyate, avyakta, avyakta ya sarva ha, prabhavantya ragame, ratya ragame praliyante, tatraiva. तत्रेवाव्यक्त संयके सो अव्यक्त अव्यक्तात अव्यक्तात व्यक्तय सर्वा प्रभवती कर्तरी बहुवचन अह अहरागमे अन्न आगमे एट दि आगमे हियर वेन दि वेन दि day arrives when the day day arrives what happens aharagame kim bhavati prabhavanti sarvaha prabhavanti sarvaha which linga is sarvaha bahuvachana does anyone know what is the linga of sarvaha what would be the linga of sarvaha रिवन स्त्रीलिंग सो स्त्रीलिंग या स्त्रीलिंग सॉरी सो अव्यक्ता व्यक्त सो व्यक्त इज स्त्रीलिंग हियर दट्स ए सर्वा इज स्त्रीलिंग सर्वा व्यक्त व्यक्ति व्यक्ति is tinanta therefore strilinga and thereby sarvah the pronoun is also strilinga sarva sarve sarvah sarvah vyaktayah avyaktat prabhavante kada aharagame so aharagame aharagame during the day when the day arrives whose day arrives prajapati's day arrives not our day सो अहरागमे प्रजापते अहरागमे प्रजापति ब्रह्म चतुर्मुख ब्रह्म सो ब्रह्मण प्रजापते प्रजापते ब्रह्मण अहरागमे हियर वी कैन एड दैट फॉर क्लैरिफ प्रजापते ब्रह्मण अहरागमे सर्वा व्यक्त 
ಪ್ರಭವಂತಿ ದೇ ಪ್ರಭವಂತಿ ಕುತಃ ಪ್ರಭವಂತಿ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಪ್ರಭವಂತಿ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದಿ ಅನ್ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಸೆಡ್ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಆ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಭುವನ ಲೋಕ ಪುನಃ ಆವರ್ತಿನ ಭವಂತಿ ದೇ ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಲೋಕ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ದೆ ಆರ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಅಹರಾಗಮಿ ರಾತ್ರ ಆಗಮಿ ಅಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ದಿ ನೈಟ್ ಅರೈಸ್ ಹೀಸ್ ನೈಟ್ ಅರೈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ತತ್ರೇವ ತತ್ರೇವ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸಂಜಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಧಿಕರಣ ಸಪ್ತಮಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸತಿ ಸಪ್ತಮಿ ಅಹರಾಗಮಿ ರಾತ್ರಾಗಮಿ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸತಿ ಸಪ್ತಮಿ ಪ್ರಲೀಯಂತೆ ತತ್ರೇವ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಅಧಿಕರಣೆ ಐ ಕಾಂಟ್ ಡೂ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಸಿ ಸೊ ತತ್ರೇವ ಪ್ರಲೀಯಂತೆ ದೇ ಮರ್ಜ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ ತತ್ರೇವ ಅಧಿಕರಣೆ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸಂಜಕೆ ಅಧಿಕರಣೆ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಇಸ್ ಸಂಜ್ಞಾ ಮೌರಿ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸಂಜಾಯಸ್ ತತ್ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸಂಜಕ ತಸ್ಮಿನ್ ತತ್ರ ತಸ್ಮಿನ್ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸಂಜಕೆ ರಾತ್ರಾಗಮೆ ಸರ್ವಾಹ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಯ ಪ್ರಲೀಯಂತೆ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಪ್ರಭವಂತಿ ತತ್ರೈವ ತತ್ರೈವ ಕೆನ್ಸೆ ರಾತ್ರಾಗಮಿ ತತ್ರೈವ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸಂಜಕೆ ಪ್ರಲೀಯಂತೆ ಸರ್ವಾಹ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಯ ಸೊ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ರಿಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಐಡಿಯಾ ನಾವು ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನೇಷನ್ ದಿ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಲೋಕ ಸಹಿತ ಲೋಕ ಕಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಪುನರಾವರ್ತಿನ ಕಾಲ ಪರಿಚ್ಛಿನ್ನತ್ವ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ they are limited in time they are not nitya therefore lokas keep on coming up lokas in the sense of the worlds also and the world of people or world of beings all sorts of beings are also born because sharira is born and the association with sharira is in keeping with the karma therefore they are also considered as bo- being born and resolved through and through anadi kale kalataha continuously this has been happening across including hiranyagarbha brahma also is born across kalpas beings are created across janmas and then based on their karma they get the karma vyavastha issues shariras for ishara issues sharira based on the karma vyavastha for each and every jeeva for bhoga based on whatever karma is due now this karma is inquired into and what is the uh, the re- the reason for the lokas to be created has been mentioned here since they are limited by time each loka has a presence for a time and thereby even the brahma loka is resolved now the question is who are these these lokas which are created with the people again ಸರ್ವಾಹ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಯ ದೀಸ್ ವ್ಯಕ್ತೀಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ದೀಸ್ ವ್ಯಕ್ತೀಸ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುಲಿಟಿ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಜೀವಾಸ್ ಜೀವಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ಬಟ್ ಜೀವಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ರೀಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ಈಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಶರೀರ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಬೈಂಡಿಂಗ್ ತಾದಾತ್ಮ್ಯ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ವಾಟ್ are these vyaktis individuals who are born in a particular kalpa are they different from the earlier kalpa or or are they same this is the question which is to be inquired into now these avyakta vyakta sarva vyakta prabhavanti aharagami brahmana aharagave prabhavanti and ratrayagave praliyante tatreva avyakta sanjake if that is true 
then these jivas who are born you know during the day of brahma in the kalpa in that particular brahma's kalpa he has day and night and he lives so so long for 100 and 120 years 100 120 years is the life span during each and every day if these are created or across kalpas also jivas are created are they same or are they different if they are different what will happen akrata akrata bhyagama krita vipranasha dosha pariharartham bandha moksha shastra pravrutti safalya pradarshanartham avidyaadi klesha mula karmashe vashaccha avashah bhuta gramah bhutva bhutva praliyate ityatah sansare vairagya pradarshanarthancha idamah the next shloka is for what purpose it answers this question as to across janmas the vyaktis who are born individuals who are born are they same or are they different if they are different what will happen akrita abhyagama akrita abhyagama is one dosha second dosha is vipranasha uh, sorry akrita abhyagama is one dosha and krita vipranasha is another dosha parihara has to be done for such dosha what is the defect logically there is a defect if the vyaktis who are born now are different from the earlier if those who have resolved into avyakta during the day they were manifest and in the at ratri they were resolved brahma's ratri they were resolved now in the next day if they are manifest are they manifest as they were resolved or differently meaning the vyaktis who are individuals who are created are now totally different if that happens karma vyavastha will not work what will happen akrita abhyagama a person will get an individual who is newly born now who has no relation to the earlier one's karma then he is getting phala the sharira based on karma that he did not do he or she did not do which is illogical how can a person get janma based on someone else's karma that is the defect dosha first defect second defect is what krita vipranash there is lot of punya which is talked about by shastra papa has to be avoided punya has to be earned now i have earned punya but i i don't i don't continue that punya or punya phala bhoga in the next janma what kind of vyavastha is this therefore krita vipranash there will be nash of whatever one has done if so this is when if this the person who is born now is different from one who was there in the earlier earlier kalpa or earlier resolution before resolution whatever was manifest early. in earlier manifestation the jivas who were there they same jiva should be born now they should be remanifested not new ones otherwise the, there will be uh, there will be like this cross connection of karma one somebody did the karma and you are doing bhoga somebody earned papa you have to suffer meaning what somebody you have not done something which you, you are either enjoying or suffering and you have done something for which you are not enjoying or suffering that is not right therefore akrita akrita abhyagama krita vipranasha dosha pariharartham to resolve that what has to be accepted is that jivas are recreated the same way they were there in the earlier kalpa that same way recreated in sir the punya continues it will continue the punya and papa which has been earned earlier that will start fructifying now so jivas are not different they are the same jivas anadi kala therefore they are not born they are remanifested with the sharira the sukshma sharira is what the sambandha with sukshma sharira is what we understand as jiva although jiva is really brahma jiva brahma hi vanapara brahma is nitya thereby jiva is also nitya 
However, the jiva we are talking about here is the ji are the jivas multiple who have had association with sukshma sharira. Due to avidya, there is some tadatmya sambandha with anatma, which is considered as oneself, and one becomes limited jiva. Once one becomes limited jiva, then there is sharira sambandha, and this tula also will delimit the manifestation of indriyas based on the capacity of this tula sharira. The owl cannot see at night. No, sorry, in the day it can see only at night. Human beings and some many other pranis can see during the day. They can't see at night. All this is the vyavastha of the sharira. Although the jiva can continue across various shariras, still the stoola sharira will let the jiva sukshma sharira's capacities to manifest only up to the extent that is possible in the. Stoola sharira based on the karma earned earlier. Thereby, the karma yavastha to work in the right manner for the shastra to be valid to talk about karma to be earned to be avoided and punya to be earned, papa to be avoided and chitta shuddhi to be earned, jnana to be earned and thereby moksha. All the purusha artha yavastha. Will work when karma yavastha is understood well, and as per shastra, that karma yavastha has to be right. Otherwise, shastra itself will become meaningless if one is earning somebody's punya papa. Thereby, uh, this akrita bhyagama and krita vipranasha dosha will accrue. To resolve that, we have to accept the karma yavastha to continue the jivas being manifest the way they were earlier. They are re-manifest. And then they get the shariras based on the karma. Thereby, bandha shastra and moksha shastra will also work well. Bandha moksha shastra pravritti saphalya pradarshana arthan. What is the other idea in the next sloka? It talks about the karma yavastha. Then it talks about the shastra pravritti, pravritti of the shastra saphalya, along with the 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 phala saphalya these. What is the end result? Saphalyam of the pravritti of shastra. Where what is the the field of operation of shastra? In it is talking about bandha. It talks about moksha. Thereby bandha shastra, moksha shastra, pravritti saphalya pradarshanartham. To show that as, as well, the next shloka is there. There is a third reason for the next shloka. अविद्यादि क्लेश मूल कर्माशय वशाच अवशह भूत ग्राम हा भूतवा भूतवा प्रलियते वन भूतवा भूतवा प्रलियते means what what has been said प्रभवंति प्रलियंते च they are जीवाज are born and they are resolved so they are manifest and they are resolved uh, manifest unmanifest this is a continuous cycle this itself is called as सावसरणम और transmigration Bhuta Gramaha is Grama is group here. The group of Bhutas, all the beings, all the jivas, all the beings, whether it is Vruksha Shar, in Vruksha Sharira, Prani Sharira, Devata Sharira, ityadi, avashaha Bhutva Bhutva Praliyate. Here Gramaha is a group, therefore singular Praliyate. Bhuta Gramaha Praliyate or Bhutaha Praliyante, Bhutva Bhutva Praliyante. Both can be, uh, you can see in both ways. If you take praliyate here, it is because their bhuta drama is jato ek vachana. There, it, it, as a group, it is a singular. There by avidya di klesha mula karma she vasha accha avasha ha avasha san under the influence of this karma, karma she whatever karma has been earned. Due to what? Due to avidya di klesha mula, avidya, avidya, smita, raga, all these, all these which are talked about in yoga shastra also. Due to all the defects, individuals have these defects. Raga, desha, ityadi are there, which are avidya krita also, and avidya itself is a defect. Manifest avidya. All these are kleshas. They are dukkha rupa. These defects are, and these are the mula. Mula for what? For karma. Ragadvesha ityadi, kama ityadi leads to karma. And 
karma phala asha is also there. So therefore, avidyadi klesha mula karma asha vasha cha. Cha chakara because there are with this first and the second word, chakara the third word. These are the three reasons for the next shloka. Avidyadi klesha mula karma asha vasha cha avasha san. There is no choice. If one has done some particular karma driven by ragadvesha, then the result is due. One cannot say that I am not a bhogi, I am only a karta, I am not a bhokta. Bhoga is forcibly given if one considers oneself as a karta and does something. When will one do karma? Only when there is raga mula, raga adi, avidya adi, klesha mula is there, then karma is possible. Otherwise, karma itself is an abhasa, karma abhasa for a jnani. For an ajjani, karma is driven by raga adi, dosha. And thereby, avasha bhuta grama, this bhuta grama, all the beings, without a choice, they are forced to be born again and again, and they are resolved again and again. So, janma and mrityu, sausarana, sausarana in the form, sausara in the form of janma and mrityu continues, continuously, ityata sausare vairagya pradarshanartham cha idamaha. To, to generate Vairakya also the next shloka. Otherwise, Janma and Murti will be continuous for one who is driven by Ragadvesha and thereby Karma Vyavastha will make a person take birth again and again since Avidya will continue and manifestation and unmanifestation of Shariras will continue in keeping with Karma and Tadatma Sambandha is anyway continuing because of Avidya. Bhuta grama saevayam bhutva bhutva praliyate ratriya game vasha partha prabhavatya haragame. So, in continuation, what happens? Aharagame, ratriya game, what happens? Here he says, Bhuta gramaha. Bhuta gramaha, Bhuta nam gramaha, Bhuta gramaha. The group of beings. Saha eva. Saha eva ayam. So, this shows the first Sangati word of Bhagavan Bhashyakaraha. Ayam Bhutva, Bhutva Bhutva, having been, having been means having taken birth, Praliyate, Praliyate, Ratragame, Avashaha, Sati Saptami and Ratra Agami, what happens? Avashaha. Um, let me cross check this. Uh, yeah, it's Kubanta. Okay. So, any so Parth, he Partha, Avashaha. हे पार्थ प्रभवति अहरागमे प्रभवति सो अहरागमे इज अगेन सती सप्तमी लाइक अर्लियर प्रभवति बिकॉज़ भूत भूत ग्रामा इज सिंगुलर सो अयम सह एव अयम लाइक सोयम देवतत्ता Sahayavam, who earlier who was there in the earlier kalpa, the same is born now. There is no difference. So, Bhutagrama as a group it is talked about. But in the group, the individual members who were there in the earlier kalpa, the same individual members are born now. Same individual members are jivas who are having tadatmya sammandha with the sukshma sharira. That sukshma sharira will get uh, with that unholy uh, combination of anatma and atma, the kosha sambandha as atma, that which died in the earlier as though sharira, sharira died but then with in the earlier janma which died was sharira, stula sharira, sukshma sharira didn't die. So, sukshma sharira continued as, as jiva into another janma, whether in another loka or in the same loka, 
whether in the manushya sharira or samadhar sharira, in devata sharira or vruksha sharira or prani sharira, in any particular gender, but the same antakkarana manifested in different way in particular stula shariras based on the karma, which is due for be, to be carved out from sanchita as prarabdha. Thereby Bhuta Gramaha, here it should be taken as a group, but each individual member in the group is born. Sahayavayam. Sahayava Sahakaha Bhuta Gramaha. That which was there in the earlier Kalpa. Bhutva Bhutva Praliyate. So just let's look at the Bhashya there. <coughs> So, Sahayeva, Bhuta Grama, Bhuta Samudaya, Stavara Jangama Lakshanaha, Yaha Purvasmin Kalpe Asit. Whichever Bhuta Gramaha, Yaha, so Saha is there, you can supply Yaha, Yaha Bhuta Gramaha, Purvasmin Kalpe Asit. Whichever Bhuta Grama, the group of Jeevas were there earlier, beings which were there earlier, Sahayeva Ayam Nanyaha, that alone is this one. The very same is manifest now, not any other. Then Bhutva Bhutva Aharagame, having been born Brahmana Aharagame during the day of Brahma, Chaturmukha Brahma, Punaha Praliyate, Praliyate Punah Punah Ratriagame Annaha Shaye Avashaha Asvatantraha Avashaha Praliyante Avashaha Ratriagame Praliyante, they are born and resolved here Praliyate, Bhuta Gramaha. Avasha praliyate and aharagame avashaha pramavati cha. Avasha eva aharagame pramavati and jayate. Pramavati means jayate. They are born. The, the group of beings are born under the influence of their own karma. They are born again and again. They are resolved again and again. Avashaha without any control, any say from their side. Their say is in karma, to do the karma or not to the, do the karma, based on Bandha Shastra, Bandha Moksha Shastra, Pravritti or Nivritti Lakshana, all that control they have. That is the free will there. But then, they don't have free will in saying that this is the bhoga that I want. I will do whatever karma I want, but I should have choice of bhoga also. Karmani eva adhikarha. There is no other adhikara. Only in karma one has adhikara. Kartum shakyate, akartum shakyate, anyathava kartum shakyate. You can do the karma in a, in, you can do, choose to do a karma. You can choose not to do the karma. You can choose to do the karma in different way. These are the choices that a person has. But then beyond that, for bhoga there is no choice. Bhoga is defined. Bhoga is defined based on the karma. Bhoga is defined and that is avashaha. Avashaha, it is forced upon a person. So, bhuta, yaha, yaha, bhuta gramaha, can add purvasmin, Kalpe Asit for clarity. <coughs> or you can say uh, Asit or we can say Yaha Bhuta bhut Gramha Ratriagami Ratriagami Brahmanaha Ratriagami Praliyate Avashaha Praliyate Saha Eva Saha Eva Ayam uh, It will be difficult to add the second Bhutva. Let's say Bhutva. Okay, let's say 
यह भूत ग्राम भूतवा भूतवा ब्रह्मण रात्रागमे अवशा प्रलियते स एव अयम अहरागमे ब्रह्मण अहरागमे प्रभवती सह एव मीन्स न अन्य नॉट एनी वन एल्स Continuously, this is a cycle which is going on. Avashaha. So avasha, you can add avasha here. Avashaha. So avasha shows, uh, induces vairagya. We don't want something which is choiceless. We want something which is with choice. I would like to have bhoga or not have bhoga as per my choice. Then I have to do karma as per my choice. Therefore, this vyavastha also is included. Avasha shows the vairagya also. And saha eva shows this, the first word also, that akrita abhyagama krita vipranasha dosha parihartha is all, parihara is also done by saying the same entity is recreated or manifest again. So this is the 19th shloka, we look at the 20th shloka onwards in the next part. Narayana parovyakta dhanda mavyakta sambho manda syanta stime lokaha sapta dvipa chame dini. Any questions? I'll see you in the next part. Huh?